Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of the Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 5 Smart Dock 7500. Interesting name, but this is one of the first commercially available Thunderbolt 5 docking stations. Now there are other options for Thunderbolt 5 that exist, but this is typically the one that you'll find deployed in a corporate environment from IT for large companies, for example. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and look at this. Now, one thing I wanna mention before we get started here, Thunderbolt 5 is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4 or and Thunderbolt 3, and it's supposed to be backwards compatible with the even older versions, but I know that it works with Thunderbolt 3 and 4, which also means that it works with USB 4 version 1, because Thunderbolt 5 is actually the equivalent to USB 4 version 2, we have talked about this on the channel a few times in the past, but we're going to demonstrate that here in this video. So let's go ahead and unbox this docking station. So it comes in a fairly standard box with Lenovo's Think Sustainability Seal. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. And then it opens up like so. So the dock is in here, let's go ahead and open this. All right, so this is it. This is the actual dock itself. It has the same smooth material on the ThinkPad laptop series, so it's a perfect match with a ThinkPad. So I'm gonna be pairing this up with my ThinkPad P16S that we did a video on recently, and I know this will work fine with that. That is USB 4 version one, but this is backwards compatible with that. So if you are gonna use this with an older device that doesn't support Thunderbolt 5 or USB 4 version two, just keep in mind that it'll work fine. The only thing is you're not gonna get the ability to do the dual uh, 80 gigabit or 120 gigabit. You'll basically run at the Thunderbolt 4 speeds, but this is basically kind of future-proofing you when you do upgrade to a USB 4 version two device in the future. So this is definitely Thunderbolt 5, and this is a relatively expensive cable because it's pretty long. So Lenovo went ahead and pre-installed it. It can be removed, so you can actually undo the screws here and take it out. But let's just go ahead and look at the ports. So we have a, a 10 gigabit with power for charging USB type A, dual 10 gigabit with charging USB-C, as well as an audio, three and a half inch audio combo jack. So those are the front ports. On the side here, we have a Kensington lock. On the other side, there's nothing. And then on the back, we have a, I believe this is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, and then dual 10 gigabit without power delivery type A, dual display ports, and I believe these can drive 8K60, but I think you need to be on USB 4 version 2 to be able to use both of them at that kind of resolution, or maybe at even higher a refresh rate, and then HDMI. And then you have two Thunderbolt pass-through. So these are basically USB 4 pass-through ports. So you can basically daisy chain more Thunderbolt devices off of these two ports. I like that there's two of them as opposed to just one of them on the previous version. And then there is a, what looks like a GAN charger port there at the back. That's a USB-C that's housed inside there. And then in the box, the box does also include this very heavy charger. So this is quite heavy. It comes in this uh, paper thing. It's 265 watt. It says to remove this protection paper completely before using, otherwise overheating may cause shutdown. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so that is the charger. It is a very substantial charger, 265 watts. I like how Lenovo prints that or embroses that. And then the power, the AC power cord is also included as well. All right, so that's everything that comes in the box. So here I have an older Lenovo ThinkPad docking station. This is actually a USB-C, but the Thunderbolt 4 docks are similar in appearance and size, and you can kind of see how the Thunderbolt 5 is larger. 
All right, so I went ahead and connected everything up to the Thunderbolt 5 ThinkPad docking station. You can see I have a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN connection here, a mouse, two DisplayPort monitors, an HDMI monitor. So I got three monitors. You can show them right here. One, two, three, in addition to the laptop display as well. And the laptop is also being charged over the GAN charger that also has power delivery through the Thunderbolt 5 cable. So I got all that connected and then we have the power cord plugged in here, locked in place there. Still tons of connectivity. And then just to show how it looks in Windows, so it is USB 4 hubs and devices. So these are the two USB 4 host router ports on the Ryzen-based ThinkPad here. And you can see USB 4 version 1.0. That is because the, the host router on the laptop is version 1. But down here on the second USB 4 host router, number two here, USB 4 version 1.0, but it is fully compatible with the ThinkPad Thunderbolt 5 smart dock right there from Lenovo. So there we go. And then all of this is working over an AMD Ryzen AI9HX 370 based ThinkPad. This is the P16S. So this is one of those things where if you can choose between this and the Thunderbolt 4 or the USB 4 docking station, definitely I would recommend the Thunderbolt 5 because in the future there will be newer laptops from AMD and Intel. Okay, and then just to kind of show how it works with a device that it actually uses Thunderbolt 5. So this is the Asus Thunderbolt EX5 add-in card for desktop computers that will support this card. So you can see here it says USB 4 version 2.0. So USB 4 version 2.0 equals Thunderbolt 5. And I've connected the ThinkPad Thunderbolt 5 Smart Dock, as shown here, directly to the add-in card. So now I have full Thunderbolt 5 speed capabilities across here. So the way I have this working, we did a video on this previously. This is on my Intel Arrow Lake desktop with the Intel Core Ultra 285K. But you can use this docking station with systems that don't even have Thunderbolt 5 today. Normally this wouldn't have Thunderbolt 5, but the motherboard, the Z890 motherboard from Asus supports the Asus add-in card. So that's the reason why we're able to get this to work. So that's how to use Thunderbolt 5 on a desktop computer. So this is one of those things where it's like, buy now and don't have to upgrade later for the dock. So this is what I would recommend getting. Lenovo did announce a whole bunch of new docking stations. This is their flagship model. So really, really good. And it works really nicely with USB 4 version 1 with backwards compatibility. So if you guys found this video useful, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.